Hello, it's me, Vicky, again. How are you? I hope you're good. Um, okay, do you like my hair? I've changed the colour of my hair. Do you like it? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so in today's video, we're going to look at descriptions of people. Opposite descriptions. Okay, so vamos a mirar descripciones de la gente, de personas. Uh, descripciones opuestas. Es correcto, no? Okay, so we're going to look at 10 different opposite descriptions of people. Okay, number one. We have tall, tall and short. So a person can be tall. I'm not tall. I'm not tall. I am short. Yeah, short. So tenemos tall, alto or alta, and short, baco, baca. So I am not tall. I am short. Okay, what about you? Are you tall or short? Let me know in comments a description of you. Okay, so number one, tall and short. Number two, we have handsome, handsome for a man and pretty for a woman. Okay, so handsome is más para hombre, para guapo. And pretty is más para mujer, for guapa, yeah, or bella, or bonita. Okay, so handsome, guapo, and pretty, guapa, or bonita. And the opposite is ugly. Ugly. Y ugly is masculino y femenino. So, handsome or pretty and the opposite, ugly. Yeah? Ugly. Okay, number three. So, we have fair and dark. Now fair is más o menos rubio, pero de complexión también, no solo pelo, de piel. Si una persona es fair, they're not dark, no son morenos, ¿vale? Si son fair, no son morenos, pero puede ser que no son rubios. Por ejemplo, yo soy fair, más o menos. Pero no soy rubia ahora. <laughs> Pero bueno. So, fair is light complexion, yeah? Uh, or hair. And dark is más moreno or morena. So, no masculine or feminine. Fair, dark. You, we use it with the verb to be. I am fair. Are you dark? He is dark. She is dark. So we use these descriptions with the verb to be in English. Okay, number four. We have slim and fat. So slim is uh, delgado or delgada. Claro, I am not slim. I am not slim. Uh, and then we have fat. Fat is, is un poco más educado de eso, pero bueno. So, slim and fat. Opposites. Yeah? Again, the verb to be. Yeah? I am not slim. I am fat, more or less. So, we use the verb to be slim, fat. Number five. These are like person, more personality. 
not so physical. Number five, serious and cheerful. So a person can be serious, a serious person or a cheerful, happy person. So again, with the verb to be, I am cheerful. I think not sometimes serious, sometimes I'm serious, but mostly I am cheerful. Serious, cheerful, serio, seria, and alegre, más o menos. Okay, serious, cheerful. Are you serious or are you cheerful? Okay, another description with the verb to be nice or unpleasant. So nice is like simpatico or maco, simpatica or maca because it's not masculine or feminine. Nice or unpleasant. So I think, I think, pienso, I am nice most of the time. I am nice. Uh, but again, we use with the verb to be. He is unpleasant or she is nice. Okay, verb to be nice, unpleasant. Okay, number seven, more characteristics. Hard working. Hard working or lazy? How about you? Are you hard working or are you lazy? We're all lazy sometimes. <laughs> so hard working is trabajador or trabajadora and lazy is uh, vago or vaga, perezoso. So I am hard working. So that again with the verb to be. So normally, normally I am hard working, but sometimes I am lazy. Okay. Number eight, we have intelligent and silly. Okay. I'm going to... <coughs> Oh, bless me, bless me, allergies. Oh. Okay, intelligent, silly. So, are you intelligent or are you silly? I think I am intelligent with some things and silly with other things. So, some things I'm intelligent, other things I'm silly. Intelligent and silly. Inteligente y tonto or tonta. Again, with the verb to be. Another characteristic. You can be sincere or you can be a liar. Okay? Sincere or a liar. So it's like honest, honesto. Uh, or mentiroso, yeah, sincere or a liar. I think I am sincere. Again, most of the time, I am sincere. I am not a liar. And you, are you sincere or are you a liar? Sometimes we have to tell white lies, yeah. A veces tenemos que decir mentiras blancas, no? White lies. Okay, number 10, we have interesting or boring. And again, I mean, many of these, sometimes I am interesting, sometimes, but sometimes I am very boring. Yeah, sometimes I like to do boring things and sometimes I like interesting things. So, anyway, so these are the opposites. Interesting or boring. Are you interesting or are you boring? Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Just do them one more time. 
we have tall and short. Yeah, alto y bajo. Handsome or pretty and ugly. So that's guapo or guapa or feo. Fair or dark, so rubio or moreno, or rubia or morena. Slim or fat, delgado or um, gordo. So notice in English not many masculine feminine. Number five, serious or cheerful. So serio, serio or alegre. Then we have number six, nice or unpleasant, simpatico or agradable or maco or antipatico. Number seven, we have hard working hard working or lazy trabajador trabajadora or vago vaga number eight we have intelligence or the opposite silly yeah intelligent or silly so intelligent is inteligente silly tonto no he puesto estúpido. Uh, you can say stupid as well. Pero eso es muy mal educado. No me gusta. Okay, number nine. Sincere and a liar. So you can be sincere, sincero or sincera. Or mentiroso or mentirosa. Sincere, liar. And the last one, number 10, are you interesting or are you boring? Are you interesting or boring? Okay, so what are you like? What are you like? Como eres tu? Dime en comentario, como eres? Okay, if you found the video useful, as usual, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. E the notification bell as well um, and take care as as normal may your god go with you and i will see you very soon in the next video thank you for watching bye